So in honor of Halloween coming up, I've chosen this artifact to talk about today. Um, it's a model of a mange mite, slightly scary model of a mange mite. Um, it's of Seropsis communis, which is a scabies type bug that afflicts sheep. Um, it's one of three models that we have in our collection of this type. It was produced in Paris in about 1900. Um, the model itself is made of wax that was painted to look like the mite. And then we have this beautiful glass dome on top, uh, which rests on a wooden base. So, um, of course, this mite is on a massive scale. Um, in real life, mites are microscopic. Um, so it came to us by way of the Department of Livestock. Um, in 1913, uh, Dr. William Butler was appointed the uh, state veterinary surgeon. And so um, at, during his career, he conducted scientific research to help eradicate scabies from Montana livestock. And so as part of this research, he corresponded with a parasitologist in Paris, whose name unfortunately is lost to us now. Um, but in 1938, Dr. Butler had the opportunity to travel to Europe um, to uh, attend the International Veterinary Congress. And so while he was there, he visited his friend in Paris and he got to see his lab and his offices. And so these models were on display. Um, and so Dr. Butler admired them as anyone would. And so his friend ended up shipping them to Helena as a gift to Dr. Butler. And so um, they have been on display in the state veterinarian's office for decades. Um, until about the 1970s when they were um, put into a storage unit in um, the Department of Livestock building. So uh, a couple of years ago they were transferred to us for our collection um, and I think it's just incredible that they have survived well over a hundred years um, which included a trip across the Atlantic and then um, decades uh, in various locations in the livestock building. So we're really happy to have them.